Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this week, so what I'm gonna be doing is I bought a bunch of fun fall things on clearance at both Kohl's and Target. And so I'm gonna show you everything that I got and then I'm gonna try it on for you. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So first I'm gonna start off with what I got from Target. Um, there's only four things, um, but I think they're really cute and they go pretty well from summer to fall. So I'll show you what we've got. Um, the first item is pretty long maxi dress. It has, let's see, it was only $10. <laughs> Um, and it has this really cute button detailing, um, as well as it ties around the waist. Um, I do believe it does have pockets. Um, I really like the pattern. Um, it's like a nice brown and kind of yellow. There's the pockets. Um, so it is almost completely floor length. Um, yeah. So I thought for $10 I couldn't leave this there. <laughs> So this dress I actually believe was kind of part of Target's cottage gore line that they were going to have. Um, it is almost totally floor length, which I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it does have pockets. Um, here's the back of it. I love dresses that have ties. I think that's really pretty. It cinches the waist so nicely. Um, and this is just a really soft material. Um, I think that this is perfect for work or anything you need something nice but a little bit more modest for. Um, it does remind me of something a little bit more vintage, a little bit something more 70s, but with a bit of a modern edge to it. Okay, so the next one I got is this little black dress. It was $8 um, and it has adjustable straps in the back. So it has like a button situation right here and then there's more buttonholes so that if you need to, you can adjust the sleeves. I may do that, um, I haven't quite decided yet. Um, it's about three quarter length um, and it also has pockets. So you gotta love that. Um, would look really cute with a sweater or something for fall. I am not going to lie to you, I was really back and forth about whether or not to purchase this dress, but I am super glad I did. Um, it's like pretty... I do like the back. Um, the straps are adjustable, which I think I may actually end up adjusting them just a little bit, but I really like the way the top fits. Um, it is kind of a weird like linen material but I do think it is perfect to wear like a blue jean jacket or something over. I really like the, the way it fits and the way it looks. Next I have this cute little dress um, and I love the blue and almost like kind of the lavender-y color. Periwinkle I think is what this one would be called and um, I just fell in love with this floral pattern. I'm a sucker for any type of floral but uh, I don't know when it's just like there's something about when it's like little skinny flowers that I really like it. Um, so it's just a little dress um, that I got. I absolutely love this little dress. I love the colors. I love the way it fits. Um, I did not tie it all the way because just for the sake of making a video, it's just easier not to tie it. But I love the way it fits. I love how it just kind of, I really like dresses that are just kind of like this A-line. I think they're flattering and they're easy to wear. And they're not uncomfortable. Um, and like I said, I really, really love the pattern on this so i'll give you guys one more look i think i will probably put a sweater over this for the fall um, and wear it to work or wherever i need to or a jean jacket that'd be really cute too so okay so my last one from target is this little baby doll dress um it also has pockets um, this one was actually not on clearance, um, but it is totally flannel, which I'm a sucker for flannel. So, um, I went ahead and picked it up cause I just thought, oh, that's too cute. I can't leave it here. It was only $15. So it's really not, 
not too bad. Um, definitely think it'll be a legging wearing dress, which I'm all about that. I think that's really cute anyway. So yeah, this one, super soft. It's gonna be really warm, so I'm waiting for it to kind of cool down to wear it. I really like the way this little baby doll flannel dress fits. Um, I do think it is a little short to wear to work, but it does have pockets which is really cute, um, but I can't wait to wear it with like a sweater and some leggings. Um, I'm hoping this flannel doesn't shrink. Most of the time I do hang things to dry anyway, so I don't think it should matter, but um, I think this is really cute. Um, and I do really love the green and blue pattern. I think it's perfect for fall. Okay, so moving on to my Kohl's pickups. Um, I have a few more of these, and these were all on clearance. Um, I have this nice little wrap shirt. It is the brand Pop Sugar, which I absolutely love their stuff. I think it's so cute and so trendy. Um, I did buy these online, so they don't have the clearance prices on them for some reason, so I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, it's if you look closely enough, it's like a leopard or a cheetah print, which I love. Um, it's one of my favorite things. It is a goal to be a cheetah girl. <laughs> Maybe I'll make it there someday. Um, yeah. So this top is the little wrap top, which I think is really cute in the back. And it's, it's a really cute top. Like I really like it. However, I did contemplate returning it because the way that this little snap is positioned, it just does doesn't do something for me. It is like too, too something. So I contemplated returning it, but that just sounds like a pain in the booty. Um, that being said, I can't get it fastened now. So there, maybe I really should return it. Okay, there we go. That being said, I think I do, I will have to like safety pin it um, so that it does not fall open, which is interesting because it does fit. Like the top fits, but it does have this weird gap that it wants to have when I relax my arms, um, which is so interesting because I'm not a large lady in this area. So why do you want to pucker open? Like how do people make this work? Maybe that's why it wants to pucker open. I'm not really sure, but see, like that's just not cute. So I probably will like safety pin it like right here. And then like, look how much better that looks. So most of the time when I do get wrapped things like this, I have this problem. Why? Um, let me know if you guys have this problem um, and how you fix it. I thought about just sewing straight up as, but I don't. I still want it to have a little bit of give because I think that that might give it a little bit that might fasten it a little too much. So yeah, let me know what your solution is to that problem. So next I actually have a pair of pants. Um, they are the brand Lauren Conrad and they're kind of like, almost like capri linen khakis, which if you know me, I hate khaki pants. I think that they do not look right. Um, especially on white women, it makes them look like they're naked. It's not, it's not fashionable. Um, so I think khakis are just entirely unnecessary unless they're for a work uniform however i do see the need for pants that are more of a like neutral color than just like blue jeans or black and so i understand why khakis are sometimes needed these aren't necessarily khakis but they fit that color um and i do need to hang them up because they are wrinkled but um these are lauren conrad's they're super cute i really like the way they fit um and so yeah, I kind of went out of my comfort zone and bought something khaki-like, but this is probably as close as you'll see me to in khakis, at least for the time being. Okay, so I threw on this little top to show you my pants. Um, so these are the khaki pants. Um, they don't go all the way, they're kind of like capri length almost. I don't know if you guys can see that, I am wearing my slippers, yes. <laughs> um, so, and they have these like straight down pockets. I just think they're really cute. I'll show you guys the back. And they come up nice and high so that they cover everything up. Um, they kind of remind me of gauchos, 
but they're not that. So we're just gonna let that go right now. <laughs> but yeah, these are great and they're super comfy. And yeah, I really like them. So next I got this Vera Wang top, a nice red color for fall. Um, and it has these really pretty sleeves. Um, and I really like Vera Wang. All of her stuff is really cute, um, but this is just so soft and so easy to throw on. And I thought it would look really nice with some scarves for the fall, so we'll see. This top is just so soft and comfy um, that I think it'll look so cute with a scarf um, to kind of break up all the solid color. Um, the sleeves are interesting. I wasn't sure how I liked how it came down and then it became this. And honestly, I'm still not sure. But I do think it is something more than just being like plain. So I'll give it that. Um, but yeah, I'm always looking. I need more solid color tops, but I love loud patterns. So I only ever buy loud patterns. So I'm trying to get better about buying solid color tops. Here we are those. <laughs> I don't know maybe the blue one with the clasp issue I will pair with the scarf and then it won't be a problem anymore so that's a thought okay so this is another pop sugar piece um, I really like the pattern I rarely see these colors together and I usually am NOT a fan of yellow but um, since I have gotten into my adult life yellow has grown on me a lot um, and so yeah um it has these really nice just like flowy sleeves it's kind of sack like but in a nice way um it is also by that brand oh no it's actually by a new brand i thought it was pop sugar but it's actually elizabeth and james and i got a couple things by them they're kind of like a bohemian type um and i'm really curious to try i liked the way everything fit for the most part from them so yeah okay so here is this top um, it's really cute. It's kind of, it's just like a nice flowy top. Um, it's not too short. Um, it's not a crop top, but it's also not too long. Um, I'm not sure if it is meant to be worn like off the shoulders or not. I think it definitely could be. And I actually do kind of like that. Um, but I have such broad shoulders that it will fall down all day so i'm not sure if i will wear it like that in real life or not but i do like the way it looks i'm gonna be honest with y'all i think it is really cute it's really flowy it's kind of kind of hippie you know but it's like workplace hippie which um i am all about so yeah Next, I have this cute little shiny top. It is purple and pink at the top, and then it has this pattern, and it is made to be tied down at the bottom. Like, it actually is longer in some areas so that you can tie it, which I thought was pretty fun, but if you look closely, it's pleated, which I really like pleated. Um, normally, I don't buy cropped and borrow, but I just thought this was really cute and would be cute and comfortable to wear. Um, pretty much to work with a sweater. Love sweaters. So do you ever have those days where you kind of feel like crap? So you just want to like throw on a t-shirt, but you need it to be a little bit nicer than a t-shirt. I think this is actually the perfect solution because the front, it, it's like a mullet shirt. The front is really fancy. The back is literally a t-shirt. Um, but I think this is really cute. I've actually been eyeing this shirt for a long time, but it was overpriced whenever I looked at it and I was like, I'm not paying that for that. So when they marked it down on clearance, I was like, yeah, I could do that. So yeah, you can check out the pleating here. Um, and it's really soft and silky and yeah, I think it's a win for me. Okay, so this is my other pop sugar item that I was thinking of. Um, it's just this cute little baby doll top um, and it has a keyhole in the back, which I love, and it has the little dots. Um, I think this is really cute. I don't wear a lot of like white tops um, just because like, I don't know, I'm like, why waste your time on white when you can have something else? Um, but I do see that there is a need for more black and white tops in my life. So here we are. Um, and I thought this one was just so cute. 
Okay, I am definitely a fan of this top. I think it is so cute and so simple, but it really is flattering. And I don't know, I like the way the sleeves look. I like the way it fits. I like the way it feels. Like I said, not something I would have normally picked up because I don't really love black and white, but here we are. And I think it's, it's really cute. So I actually sometimes consider going back and purchasing things in other colors if they come in other colors, but then I'm like, well, I buy so many clothes that um, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> so yeah, I really, really love this top though. Next I have this little rose top. Um, long sleeves which I love it's nice and soft and um, kind of almost not really a mock neck but kind of a mock neck um, and it's it's a peplum um, I really like the way this looks I love the pattern definitely soft and warm it would be perfect for when it gets cooler I absolutely love this top I love the pattern I love the way it fits I think it is slimming um, I just, I really love it. I, there are no complaints on my end on this one. It is so soft. Um, would I get it in other colors? Probably yes. Do I need to get it in other colors? No, but here we are contemplating that. Um, so yeah, I do really, really like this top. And then I have this cute little sparkly um, top with like the lettuce um, hems. Um, and I just really love this. I think it's perfect for fall. It's so shiny and cute and it's really soft. It doesn't feel like it's going to be itchy. Um, sometimes things that are this material are itchy, but this does not feel like it's going to be that way. So I'm very excited about this one. So this is probably most definitely one of my favorite tops that I purchased. Um, probably wouldn't wear it with these pants. Um, but it is just so sparkly and the fall colors are perfect and it is so soft and warm and I just cannot wait to wear it. I think it is so cute. Okay, I got another very cute little floral something. Um, also in the periwinkle range um, because I guess that's my thing now. Um, this is just really cute. I think it's a really cute top for some high-waisted bottoms. And it does have some button detailing. I believe it is Candies, the Candies brand, which has always been um, a pretty, pretty good brand. I do really enjoy things that are made by Candies. Okay, so here's this top so you guys can see. It is kind of cropped, but it's also like longer than some crop tops. Um, it's got the peplum, which I think is really flattering and the long sleeves, check out the back. Really cute. Next I do have another dress and um, surprise, it's cheetah print. Um, it's kind of like this fun like parachute material and it is also that Elizabeth and James and I was worried it was going to be way too big um, but I tried it on and I really like it so I'll show you guys what it looks like on here in a little while um, but yeah this is just so airy and light and it's long sleeved so will go perfectly into fall and I like the olive green color <laughs> okay so this is my little green cheetah print dress I think it is super duper cute. It's a really light, cool feeling material. Um, but I think it, with the long sleeves, and the sleeves are like just the perfect length, um, it's gonna be perfect to go into fall. Um, it does button all the way up. However, I don't have it buttoned like that. I kind of have it open. Um, just to give me a little bit more room in the neck area. I really like the way this fits. I thought it was gonna be way too big, but I don't feel like it really is. I think it's just, just right. And there's a closer look at the pattern there for you guys. And last but certainly not least, I do have another flannel. I must be really going for these dark colored flannels. Um, it is a peplum top with get the sleeve out here with peplum sleeves as well um, I just really love the blue and the purple um, it's so cute and I think it's really cute on too 
So as I was saying before, I love flannel. Um, this is super cute. It's a little big, but I actually don't hate that. And um, I'll tell you why. I think I would actually pair this with leggings and it covers everything I need it to cover, um, which is perfect. And some days you just need something big and warm um, and flannel-y. So yeah, I am really liking the dark blue in flannels and this kind of has a light blue and a purple which are two of my other favorite colors um so yeah sometimes this is a plus size um and it's actually a 1x and sometimes that's just a little bit too big for me sometimes it's just right so it all depends um but kohl's it tends to be a little bit big see so um i don't think it's big to the point where i would return it um but I probably could have gotten away with just a regular extra large and it been fine. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you're curious to see how I style all of these pieces, please go check out my Instagram. I do post daily or almost daily outfit pictures um, and it is linked down below in the description box. Um, if you're curious about um, you know, anything else about these products, please, Feel free to ask questions. I'm happy to answer them. Uh, let me know what your favorite look was and I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.